Good morning. So, I'm on a long drive today, and I've been meditating on some things, and thought I'd share them. I see a big glare in the glass, but anyways, so I've been thinking a lot about love today, and it is by far my favorite subject, and it's not necessarily what you're thinking, I'm sure. So if I asked you what is love, uh, I'd accept three answers, okay, because hopefully some of y'all think, well, God is love. Yes, all right, that's why I say it's my favorite subject, because that's what God is. God is love. And, um, but, on a, but on a more, like, person-to-person -person level, okay, so I have kind of made a gauge for love, all right? So on a scale of 1 to 10, how strong is a person's love? And this can be seen in, in anybody, and you can generally see it in a person in just a conversation with them. You can tell how strong a person's love is. Man, that glare is really bad. Jeez. Um, I'm going, I'll go around a curve here in a second, so maybe I'll stop blinding you. Um, okay, so we're going to use two passages of Scripture, all right? The first one is Jesus saying, you have heard it said, uh, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And skip down a few verses, and it says, uh... If you love those who love you, uh, where is your reward? Like, you, you, anybody can do it. Um, yeah, Jesus says, don't even the pagans do that. So, uh, again, on this scale of love, on the, the lower end, anybody can do. And on the higher end, um, it's, it's very difficult. So, what's, what's the difficult? Um, the, uh, the path, geez, the scripture says there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for a friend. Now, that, that passage isn't just a one-time thing, okay? And someone might say, uh, yeah, it is, you die. Okay, no. What Jesus is referring to is that you're always willing to lay down your life for a friend. Okay, so you treat every friend you've got, everyone you love, um, with the same love as I'd be willing to die for you. And whenever they're in help, whenever they're in need, you step in and help them, all right, or you love them. Now, um, if I were to take a census on like how do you feel love, like, um, this image comes to my mind on, on what reply I might get is, um, well, you know, when you're holding the person you love and you just went out to dinner and a movie and you're holding each other and the world's all right and everything, um, you feel those butterflies and unicorns and rainbows and, uh, that's, that's love. Yeah, see, there is love, but that's on the lower end of love. Like, the truer form of love is when love is tested, okay? So, um, when Jesus says, don't even pagans do that, okay? When you love somebody that loves you, that's easy. And again, yes, it's love, but it's on the lower end, like somewhere between one and five. Um, there's no difficulty in that. There's no reward for that. But if you love those who hate you, that's that's the truer form of love. That's that's getting into the, the 5 to 10, all right? And uh, so when, when I look around at the world today, and, and I'm, I sound very negative, and I'm like, man, I just don't see many people loving in the world today, all right? I, I mean, ask yourself, which, which is easier? Is it easier to fight, you know? And, and I don't necessarily mean physical. You know, it could be verbal or argument or argument, arguing, um, or is it easier to walk away from a fight, or um, to make peace instead of war, uh, that is a higher form of love, and I want to encourage people to have more of a selfless love, uh, 
In a quarter mile, on, turn on right this, onto uh, Golden Isles Parkway. You know, again, the, the one to five is a selfish love, okay? It's loving those who love you. But on the higher end of love is a selfless love, laying down one's life for a friend or loving your enemies and praying for those who persecute you. So uh, I, I evaluate in my life all the Turn time. Turn right onto Golden Isles um, Parkway. Well, where I am on this scale, okay? And I'm just praying all the time, you know, God help me to live a selfless life, to live a life laying down my life for others. Continue and, on Golden uh, Isles Parkway for half a mile. I just want to encourage everyone to strive for a higher form of love, okay? In a Loving quarter mile, turn left onto Georgia 165 simple. South. Everybody can do it. But, uh, man, again, if I were to ask you, you know, how do you know you love your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that? Turn left onto and Georgia 165 well, South. And you, and you start pointing off ways they show love to you. That's all fine and dandy, but it's a higher form of Continue love. Continue on Georgia 165 Say, South for 11 miles. Said person, because if they wronged me, I would still love them. And that to me is a very high form of love and one that God honors. It's not necessarily honored by man, but God sees it and he honors it. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Hope the glare isn't too terrible. It seems like the sun is always in that window over there and I can't do anything about it. But anyways, I'll see y'all in my next video.